we're going to be taking a look at NVIDIA. Okay. NVIDIA, this platform promises to make it easier than ever to create professional looking videos, even if you've, well, never even, you know, even opened up video editing software before. Right. So we're going to find out if it lives up to the hype. We're going to break down its features and uh, look at some user reviews and see if NVIDIA is the real deal. Sounds good. So one of the boldest claims that NVIDIA makes, you ready for this? Yeah. Create publish worthy videos on day one. Okay. What do you think about that? Well, I mean, that's a pretty big claim, right? Yeah. <laughs> but when you look at their approach, it's actually not as far-fetched as it might seem at first. So NVIDIA uses a template-driven design. They have over 5,000 like professionally designed templates to choose from. Wow. And these templates are categorized by industry, by platform, you name it. Okay. So, you know, whether you're creating a video for social media or for your website or for a presentation, whatever, they've got you covered. So it's less about, like, technical know-how and more about just, like, finding the right starting point. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. It lowers that barrier to entry. So even if you're a complete beginner, you can just jump in and start creating something that looks pretty good right off the bat. Okay. I like that. I like that a lot. But they also talk about single-click shortcuts. What is that about? Okay, so... Think about those little, like, time-consuming tasks that you often have to do when you're creating videos. Yeah, things like removing an image background or adding, like, music or, you know, those little animations, transitions? Right. In video, lets you do all of that with a single click. Really? Yeah. Wow. It's crazy. Like, let's say you've got a product image and you want to put it on a, like, a cool background or something. Right. Normally, you'd have to go through the whole process of, like, manually removing the background, which can be a pain. But with NVIDIA, you literally just click a button and it's gone. So they're, like, taking care of all the tedious stuff behind the scenes, basically. Exactly. They're, like, streamlining the whole process. You can focus on the creative stuff. Okay. I am intrigued. Eee. But... We have to talk about the AI in the room oh. because in video has AI tools, mm -hmm. including this text to video conversion thing, which is yeah. kind of blowing my mind right now. <laughs> so how well does this actually work in practice? Yeah. So it's funny because everyone's talking about AI these days, right? Yeah. But in this case, I think it's actually warranted. Imagine this. You've got a blog post that you've written hmm. and it's, you know, it's good content and you want to share it with a wider audience. Right. But making a whole video from scratch, that can be a bit daunting. Sure, yeah. So what NVIDIA does is it takes that text, your blog post, and it converts it into a video. Wow. And it can do this in a matter of minutes. It's really remarkable. So it's almost like repurposing your existing content, but in a really smart way. Exactly. It's like you've already done the hard work of, you know, coming up with the ideas, writing the content. Why not leverage that in a different format? I love that. Reach a whole new audience. Mm -hmm. They also keep mentioning an all-in-one workflow. So what does that actually look like in the, you know, step-by-step? -step? Okay, so with NVIDIA, you basically follow these steps. You select your template, upload your media, you edit your content, and then you can add animations, transitions, special effects, you know, all that fun stuff. Right, okay. And the key here is that everything happens within the platform itself. So I'm not jumping between like five different programs. Yeah, awesome. Well, no more of that. Okay, I like the sound of that. Save so much time. <laughs> exactly. Now let's talk about the bigger picture here, because in video claims that their platform could actually help with brand growth. So how does that actually play out? Well, if you think about it. NVIDIA is removing a lot of those technical barriers that often prevent people from creating videos in the first place. Okay. So now you can focus more on crafting really compelling content. Right. Because at the end of the day, that's what's going to make you stand out on social media, attract new customers, you know? Right, right. Imagine, for example, you could take customer testimonials and turn them into really powerful social media videos. Yeah. Or create, like, really engaging product demos that you know, practically sell themselves. Right, right. Makes sense. So I'm a big fan of mobile editing because, let's be real, so much content creation happens on the go. You know, you're on the bus, you're waiting for your coffee, you name it. Absolutely. I see they have a mobile app. Are there any limitations that you know of? So it's interesting. The information that we have focuses more on the app's strengths, actually. Like it highlights, you know, having filters, effects, even access to music libraries. Right, okay. All directly within the app. 
And they don't really talk about limitations, so that suggests to me that the mobile version is pretty robust and probably on par with the desktop version in terms of functionality. That's really impressive, actually. They've thought of everything. But what about when you need a little extra help? They have, like, human support, tutorials, even a community. What does this say about their target audience? I think it's pretty clear that they're trying to appeal to a really broad range of creators with that kind of support. I mean, whether you're a complete beginner, you've never touched video editing software in your life, or if you're a seasoned pro just looking for a more efficient way to create videos, it seems like InVideo has something for everyone. So what I'm hearing is that InVideo is all about speed, it's about simplicity, and it's about getting those really professional looking results exactly. without needing to be you know, a video editing wizard. Exactly. And without needing a super powerful computer. Exactly. That too. Now, here's a final thought for everyone listening. If you could create a video today within video, what message would you share with the world? That's something to think about. That wraps up our deep dive into InVideo, everyone. Until next time, keep creating.